Well, I think I'm in a perfect spot for this uh, next report, the Philadelphia Museum of Art. And if you watch Good Day, you know over the years, I talk all the time about how I love art. Uh, I'm not good at it, but I kind of have a hobby of collecting it. So I've known this local artist for over 10 years. I have a couple of his pieces. His name is Aloysius McElwain, and he has a series called Muse. He really travels around the world <laughs> painting beautiful women. Want to see his work? Here you go. There's this aspect to like when you're trying to create art um, where you're trying to also kind of figure out why this is appealing to you and why you want to try to recreate it so much. You can find them in uh, Japan, right outside of Tokyo. Paris, I have uh, several, I have several in Paris. I did one in London and somebody already tagged over. I did one in uh, Costa Rica. I did one in uh, Casablanca, Morocco. I've done a Eartha Kitt piece. I did Billie Holiday. I even did a, a Betsy Ross piece. <laughs> so a lot of times I can't see until I step back. But this part looks like her so far, so just gotta tighten it up. Ooh, look at that nose highlight. Putting in work. <laughs> Five years ago, I decided that I was gonna do um, an entire series focused on uh, painting women. I'm almost there in the face. I just gotta really uh, get the eyes in a minute. Get the eyes, get the eyes. That's that's the thing. A lot of times it's like, if you don't get the eyes right, nothing else works. What inspired you to start doing these paintings, man, of women? It was always one of those things with me, man, like, uh, when I look at uh, nature and all the different beauty and stuff there, you have beautiful trees, beautiful flowers, birds, animals, but there's, there's nothing that, like, betrays emotion like human women. You know what I mean? Like, you, you get, um, you know, longing, lust, uh, pain, strength, you know what I mean? Perseverance, you get all those looks from, from, you know, just a subtle, like, switch of the face. I'm gonna outline the whole thing first, as soon as I find my cap, and then I'm gonna start doing fillings. So I had some of it done, but. You talk a little bit earlier about growing up around strong women. That's 100% one of the reasons why I was even uh, looking in the direction to do music was because like I've always been surrounded by uh, beautiful, uh, strong women, you know, beautiful, strong, intelligent women. So, you know, that's probably one of the reasons why it appeals to me to try to capture that on uh, in canvas and on, on walls. Of all the women you've painted, mm -hmm. the one that stands out to you the most? That's not even a hard question for me because I know what my answer has to be or else I'm going to get murdered. So I'm, I'm going to have to say my sister. <laughs> Regardless of anything else, that's what I have to say. My sister's my best friend. You know, um, so I, I have to say her. Um, I did a piece for her, um, of her, for Bella Magazine not too long ago, and I'm really, really proud of that piece. You got this book coming out. Yes, yeah, so uh, the book is uh, Muses Volume 1. I'm so proud of it. It's collecting five years worth of uh, Muse paintings, so it's gonna um, have images of not only the murals that I painted, but the, uh, the canvas paintings, digital paintings and sketches, photography, uh, stuff from my clothing line, Culture's Clothing, um, stickers that I put up of women all around the world. And my, uh, my favorite section of the book is actually a section um, called Muses with Murals, where it's literally just an entire section featuring uh, women in front of my murals. Just like enjoying and taking it in. And the really cool thing about it is that um, probably 50% of the people I know and the other 50% I don't know. So it's just like random people who have to happen to come across my artwork and love it and take a picture in front of it. So that's so gratifying for me as an artist because, you know, sometimes when you're doing art, it's like I'm putting a piece of me out there. You know, I really hope people appreciate it. You know, I have a lot of uh, really, you know, intelligent, strong, passionate, like driven women in my life. And a lot of times, you know, I just like to surprise them and just show them how much I appreciate them and do something like this this mural that I have behind me, you know what I mean? If I can, if I can get these, uh, this shading inside of the, the irises right, this looks just like her. Who is this one in the mural you did today? Oh, this is Nyla. She's gonna flip out when she sees this. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna flip out. That's what's up, man. It's a beautiful piece, oh, man. Thank Your you. work is always, like I said, man, I'm always so impressed. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. By the work you do, you. man, and, 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 and I'm always, appreciative of the fact that you're willing to let me come around and watch it happen. Man. You know what I'm uh, saying? Yeah, man, I enjoy the company. <laughs> <laughs>
kind of admit I want to be him. <laughs> Keep it going, Aloyas. Yeah, getting recognition around the world. I'll tell you about his next project, too. Uh, if you like that segment, hang around. There's more just like it on the Jarek Report. Keep clicking.